getting ready for an interview. I'm in the middle of the earth and I've kidnapped Molly Erdman. You're surprisingly okay with being kidnapped. Well, it's, you know, it's a chance to get out of the house. Yeah, but I blew, I, I, I shot a blow dart into your neck and then you were like, all right. I heard you say that as you were like, collapsing. You were like, all right. Well, as if you were just like, you just go with the flow. I roll with it. That's my deal. Yeah, Not yeah. At all. Gonna give you a heads up. Watch out for mole people. A lot of, a lot of them. And some chud as well. Cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. Great. But I got your back. Great. Thank you. Because this interview is about the Erdman, not the Earthman. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like that. Wordplay. First of all, you went through the second city, but besides just like going through, like taking some classes, there, you were main stage in Chicago. That's, that's the I big was. show. That's the big dance, as they call it. It is. They do call it the big dance. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, everyone in Chicago refers to it as the big dance. I feel like you're, I feel like you're shining me on just a tad. No, no, uh, they do. Uh, yeah, that was actually why the reason I moved to Chicago was to do Second City. Nice. Who, who yeah. now? Who are some of the people that you that you work with? My there? contemporaries. Yes, your contemporaries. Uh, <laughs> my uh, dear, precious boyfriend Joe Canale. Uh-huh. Uh, Brian Gallivan, who some may know as the sassy gay friend. Sassy gay friend, right? One of the guys on the Second City Network show. Exactly. Sassy gay friend. Exactly. Great, great show. The list goes on. The list so really, the really goes on, and Second City. Main stage can't go on forever. You can't. You wrote three shows. That's that's that, enough. That's it. And then they said, look, stop okay. now. Um, but uh, out here in LA, big Second City contingency out here. Yes, huh? yes, absolutely. There's a Second City training center and a small theater out here, and and sort of everyone just sort of migrates from Chicago to LA. And now they're in the Weber world. But tell us about the, the Second world. City Network. Here in Los Angeles, they realized how many actors from Chicago would come out here, so they decided, you know, well, let's get all these Second City alums and let them. Uh, come up with videos with uh, ideas for shorts and even episodic things and, and stuff like that and uh Put it online. Nice, but you still do live live shows. Yes, I do. I do do. I you do wrote do an live entire shows. musical out here I in did. LA. Tell us about I did. Catnip the musical. Uh, well, Catnip began as an improv group, and uh, we decided to write uh, a musical uh, based on uh, some down on their luck girls who live in New Jersey who want to get out of their town, so they form a band. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this. New Jersey is like the chief exporter of entertainment right now. Well, that's, see, Real we were finger on the pulse. <laughs> Have you ever thought of maybe like uh, transitioning it and saying like uh, the Real Housewives of New Jersey, the musical, or? I can't believe that doesn't exist. We frankly. need to get like a little like combined glee yeah. yes. and the Real Housewives of New Jersey. It would be unstoppable. But we did this musical, yeah. uh, and it was real. And then we actually shot a music video for it with the Second City Network. On the Second City Network, right? Look at that! It all just keeps folding back, yeah. it, back in. But your entire life is not defined by Second City. That is not quite true. No, that's true. Yeah. I do some other things. You you do a lot of commercials. I, I see I see your face popping up. <laughs> a lot of people uh, you might recognize her as the the Sonic wife. Yes, for it's, for four years I was the wife in the minivan uh -huh. in Sonic commercials. And uh, now the guy that you work with uh, in that one is... Brian Husky. You guys eventually got divorced, apparently, because he married the, the girl that's in the Toyota commercial. Yeah, he left me for another blonde in a oh. minivan. But then recently I saw you in a Toyota commercial. I did. Well, I was I, I came back for him. Yeah, I didn't know if there was an awkward moment at the right. Toyota dealership. <laughs> He's shopping for a Sienna with his new blonde wife. And then... Right. You know, it's complicated, dramatic world of commercials. Let's talk about this crazy <laughs> thing that you have called Catalog Living. Explain what the heck it is. Uh, Catalog Living is a website that I created. I take um, pictures from, say, a Pottery Barn catalog, uh -huh. uh, images from that, and then I write captions for them that are not sanctioned by Pottery Barn. <laughs> Forever. You just look at catalogs and it'll be like the JCPenney catalog with five guys in underwear <laughs> holding a football. <laughs> and you'll be like, what, what game is that that they're playing? Absolutely. The Catalog Living it's, it's, it's a good time. For those of you who want to find out a little bit more about Molly Erdman, check out mollyerdman.com. And check out cataloglivingnet That's the place where you can uh, find out about her odd and tweaked sense of humor. It's true. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's where to find it. You've got issues. I do. And she puts them online, which we all appreciate. We'll see you next week with another amazing interview. Yeah.